don't think we're going anywhere. <laughs> well, we're stuck. Just blowing 40 odd knots this way. With Tropical Storm Arthur blowing and topping out at over 53 knots, I was up in the night to check the lines. Doesn't look like we're going anywhere. No, look at the gap. Yeah. All the lines are taking the strain nicely, you know, they're all just there. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I'm not sure about the fittings in the wall, but the lines look good. Try and move a bit closer. So we were told that uh, you can fish here with crabs. Yep, so we're going off. So uh, we're going crabbing. <laughs> we're going crabbing. We're going to go see if we can get a few yeah. land crabs or something. And yeah. then uh, apparently you put them in. And what was the type of fish you catch? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. But well, the guy has a big trumpet, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, but the guy was pulling them out every five minutes the other day. So yeah. and apparently they're good eaters. And if nothing else, it would do for Dobby. Yeah. No crabs? No crabs. Ah. They're quicker than us. Okay. Come on. As this was the first time we had been on a dock for three months, I wanted to cut a few links off the anchor chain just in case it was rusting on the inside. It's uh, in the last link there, it's starting to get quite corroded and it's been on the seabed for quite a long time and uh, with the stainless steel anchor I think the corrosion happens a lot faster so I'm going to chop off a link uh, I'll probably chop it back here a couple of links just to make sure it doesn't snap because that's the last thing I want <laughs> As you can actually see, it's perfectly all right. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It's solid as anything, but I just don't want to, I want to be careful. So now I need to take this off here and uh, add that to that. This is the uh, pin that stops the main pin coming out. This isn't the original, I lost it over the side last time I did this. So, so there we go, job's done. Got it uh, back together and uh, it should be okay I can't see why not one of the problems I always have with the code zero is that the uh, line that goes into the furler at the bottom goes in too high and it actually needs to be pulled down into the middle of the drum so I'm going to come up with a way of doing that So I'm going to put a strop around here, like this with this piece of rope, put a pulley here and then that will pull that down there and I'm hoping then it will actually feed into the drum in the middle and then sort of kind of fill it up because at the moment it just all gets bunged up in the top which is rather annoying. So I'm going to put a mark on here so we can see where to make the pie of the slice.
so there we go, that's the option you come up with. Uh, loop to go around the main beam, and a soft shackle onto a block, and we'll see whether that works. Believe it or not, Bermuda had a railway. The construction of the 27 miles of track was started in 1926 and the railway opened in 1929. 30% of the line was elevated on bridges, all adding to the cost and the maintenance. After only 17 years of use, the railway and all its infrastructure was removed, sold and exported to British Guiana. Today, the line has turned into a trail for hikers and cyclists. It passes through some of the best parts of the island, has stunning vistas for all to enjoy. With the history, stations, tunnels, cuttings and bridges, it is a great gem that only Bermuda can offer. So here I am waiting for the bus to go to uh, town, to Pageant, and I'm going to collect the sails from the sailmaker and Chris, our uh, friend here and patron, is going to take us in his little truck. I have to say I am really upset. Um, I'm upset because I asked the guy how much the sails were going to cost three times and every time he refused to tell me. And uh, Carla has asked me what I thought the sails would cost to be repaired. And I said probably $500. If it's over a thousand, I'll get, uh, I'll be upset. And uh, he's finally messaged me and told me that they are $2,075. Now, quite honestly, it isn't actually the amount of money. It's the fact that he's basically just helped himself. Uh, he's just said, right, I'm just going to carry on doing this. I'm not going to worry about the cost, and you can pay me. And he tells me his excuse is he's done a good job. Well, yeah, okay, but I expect you to do a good job. You know, I don't expect you to do a bad job. So it's going to be quite unpleasant. So I'm afraid I can't recommend uh, Ocean Sales, Steve in Bermuda. I feel completely ripped off. And it's going to have a little tang to the uh, trip here altogether, really. So I'm just waiting for the bus, and the bus will be along shortly. I've found it, yeah. Enjoy this video where we start with the Arthur. Arthur, yeah, the first tropical storm of the season, yeah. which uh, basically meant that our insurance was null and void. 
Uh, but uh, there we go, we were okay, we were safe. Yeah, we were safe and uh, it kind of dissipated uh, when arrived here and uh, we were good. Yeah. We, we put we some extra lines. We had it. some extra lines, yeah. but we were still 53 knots and at yeah. times it was uh, it was quite a blow. So I was up in the night just to make sure everything was okay. Yeah. Uh, fortunately for us, it was taking us off the uh, key wall here because uh, the key wall is a bit rough to be honest. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I got down to doing a couple of jobs on the boat. Uh, first one was the anchor chain. About every six to nine months, I like to chop uh, the end link or two off the anchor chain just to make sure that the corrosion isn't too bad. And it does tend to look quite corroded on the outside, but uh, when you actually uh, cut through, they're absolutely fine. I think the corrosion is added to by the fact we've got a stainless steel um, anchor. anchor and uh, obviously a galvanized chain but we don't have a lot of the galvanizing left Anymore. do we <laughs> that's just god yeah. so uh, we will be getting it regalvanized uh, galvanized yeah. at a later in, date in yeah portugal. in portugal yeah. yeah and get that tidied up because it does make a bit of a mess and we also got the whole of the anchor chain out because we wanted to put all the little markers on again yeah um, because they're missing and yeah, they just uh, keep they come off, uh, come they on, come off or off. disappear yeah. Yeah. and we often save them they're on the deck but uh, yeah, dobby likes them yeah he does <laughs> he does like them doesn't he and then uh, I had another go at the Code Zero and I'm hopeful this time it's I've actually good. cracked it. Um, we're not going to know until we... Uh, we are in the trouble. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's yeah. how it is, isn't yeah. it? When the wind blows up to about 25 knots and we have to get the damn thing down in no, a hurry, that's when we're actually going to know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. But uh, yeah. So anyway, that's done. Then we did the railway uh, trail, which is uh, wonderful. It's a wonderful way to see Bermuda. It's beautiful, it just takes you to the, these beautiful estuaries and uh, you go through tun tunnels and it's just beautiful. Oh, everything is so, so nice. It's one of the most spectacular uh, walks actually on the island yeah. and uh, 27 only, miles yeah. long, it's yeah, fantastic. We yeah. No, they are 18 miles, I think. 18, 18, 18, 18 miles, miles of trails, originally yeah. it was 27 miles so, yeah, of trails. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. yeah, we did 11 and we, we are planning to do the rest tomorrow yeah. since so, we are back here. Yeah, <laughs> we're back here. Um, just to fill you in there, we were going to leave, then we had a problem and we couldn't leave. Yeah. So we're still here. So we're still here. <laughs> <laughs> so tomorrow we'll do the rest of the railway yeah. trail. Well, yeah. hopefully, anyway. Yes. And uh, yeah, we did send the sails off to be serviced and uh, yeah, I am uh, still quite... Um, upset about it. I don't particularly want to dwell on it any longer but uh, if you actually look at my blog and uh, read the comments there uh, you'll find a lot more information if that's what you would like. Would like, yeah. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, please leave your comment below and uh, subscribe to our channel. 70% uh, of our viewers are not subscribers yet so please help us get to those numbers and uh, click on the button. Thank you. And bye for now. Bye.